Why couldn't Anthony Anderson cast his real son in Blackish? What made Tracy Ellis Ross become notoriously private about her personal life? And which cast member became the youngest executive producer in Hollywood? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's get to know all the details about the actors of our favorite sitcom. Anthony Anderson as Dre Johnson Amazingly, Anthony wanted to be an actor since he was nine. He revealed in an interview with Deadline that he decided on this while watching his mother Doris rehearsing on stage. And although she didn't manage to become a successful actress herself, Doris always supported Anthony. They even joked that she gave all her talent to her son. Anthony Anderson is now 50 years old. Since the mid-90s, he has done a wide range of roles, from comedy and drama movies to being a series regular in TV shows like The Shield and Law and & Order. But his favorite genre has always been comedy, and getting the role of Dre Johnson meant a lot to him. It's my sensibilities, my wit, my humor, the way I interact with my children. That's the closest to me that I've been able to portray on television and film, and I'm really enjoying that ride. On screen, his wife is played by the stylish Tracy Ellis Ross, but in real life, he's been married for more than 20 years to his high school sweetheart, Alvina Stewart. However, their marriage has had its ups and downs. They made headlines when Alvina filed for divorce in 2015, citing the ever-so-popular irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. Fortunately, in 2017, Stewart and Anderson had rekindled their marriage, and Alvina asked a Los Angeles judge to dismiss her divorce petition. The couple share two grown children, Kyra, who is 24, and Nathan, who is 20 years old. The actor grew up in Compton, Los Angeles, and when his kids were younger, he overcompensated for his childhood by giving them all the things he never had. However, he and Alvina admitted that they tried to teach their children the value of hard work. Nathan is following in his dad's footsteps. He has appeared in the TV series Richie Rich and All About the Washingtons. By the way, Anthony Anderson revealed that he couldn't cast Nathan in Blackish because his son has too much swag compared to him. I wanted him to be Andre Jr., but my son's cool factor is just off the charts, and we needed him not to be goofy, but just be a nerdy kid, and he couldn't shake that. Regardless, Nathan did appear on Blackish in a guest role of Cousin Dante. Tracy Ellis Ross as Bo Johnson. Tracy is the second oldest child of a super famous woman, music icon Diana Ross. She grew up in a creative environment, so it's no wonder that she earned a bachelor's degree in theater arts. After graduation, Tracy Ellis Ross worked in the fashion industry as a model and contributing fashion editor to magazines. But soon she landed a role in the TV series Girlfriends and was a regular on the popular show for its entire eight season run. However, after the end of Girlfriends, Tracy found herself adrift. Offers just didn't come her way. When Girlfriends ended, I thought the pearly gates of Hollywood were going to open, she shared. They did not. Eventually, Ross came across the role that she suspected was written with her in mind, Rainbow Johnson in Blackish. Ross says that the chemistry with her on-screen husband was magical and instantaneous, and, according to the show's creator, it's she who allows Anthony Anderson's Dre to be seen as lovable. In real life, the 47-year-old actress has never been married, and she is notoriously private when it comes to her personal life. Tracy Ellis Ross explained that her upbringing in the public eye led her to want to keep certain things to herself as an adult. I don't make a decision that I will never talk about my relationships, she shared, but there are certain things that are sacred to me that are not for public consumption. They are mine. The only person who confirmed that he and Tracy were once an item was music manager Abo Theum. Speaking on the radio show The Breakfast Club in 2016, he discussed being amicable with the actress following their split. Me and Tracy are going to be lovers forever, he said. I really do believe that. Me and her have this genuine, unconditional relationship. When asked why the two broke up, Theum claimed that he couldn't give his full attention to the relationship. And this year, a rumor began circulating that she was dating blackish creator, Kenya Barris. Kenya and his wife of 20 years announced their intention to divorce last year. By the way, Tracy's character on the show was inspired by Kenya's wife. However, neither Ross nor Kenya Barris have ever confirmed their romance. Yara Shahidi as Zoe Johnson Like her on-screen mother, Yara comes from a pretty talented family too. Her father, Afshin, is a cinematographer, but he is also known as a photographer for Prince. And her mother, Carrie, is also an actress who appeared on a TV show in The Motherhood. Yara's younger brothers, Saeed and Hassan, are also actors, and rapper Nas is actually her cousin. It's incredible how many talented people there are in one family. Although Yara started acting at the age of six, her career in showbiz wasn't deliberately planned. 
As she told Refinery29, I wasn't one of those kids who woke up and said, I want to be an actor. I've always wanted to be a historian. Yara first appeared in different commercials, and when she was nine, she got her first big role in Imagine That opposite Eddie Murphy. She went on to appear in television shows such as The First Family and Scandal. And when she landed a role on Blackish, it appeared that she and her character Zoe had a lot in common. Amazingly, Yara Shahidi was accepted into every college she applied to, including Harvard, where she plans to double major in African American studies and sociology. But it wasn't only because her college recommendation letter was written by Michelle Obama herself. Yara's chances of getting into an Ivy League school were still high, as she maintained a 4.6 grade point average. Shahidi is also known as an activist for feminism, voting, and STEM awareness. However, the now 20-year-old actress decided to take a gap year to continue her career, because right when she was in the process of applying to college, she got the call about her own grown-ish spin-off. She's not only the star, but also a producer of the show. And most recently, Yara has been cast as Tinkerbell in the new Peter Pan movie, which will make her the first black woman to take on the role on screen. But what about her private life? In her 2017 interview with Seventeen, Yara revealed that she decided not to focus her energy there just yet. I haven't dated anybody. My general outlook is if I don't have time to take a bath on a regular basis, then I don't have time for another human," she shared. I love being busy, and I enjoy where I am at right now. So as far as we know, Yara is still single and devotes all of her time to her busy work and social life. Marcus Scribner as Junior Marcus is the same age as Yara and has also amassed quite a career. Since the age of 10, he has appeared in series like Castle, New Girl, Wedding Band, and Nickelodeon's Wendell and Vinny. But his first major role was in Blackish. Just like his character, Junior, Marcus comes from a Los Angeles biracial family. He attended an elementary school where most of the kids were Jewish. In many ways, being on the show helped him to embrace his identity. Being on Blackish really taught me that that's something special and to be proud of being multiracial, he revealed. It's something that's cool and definitely I hold dear to my heart. Now, after working on the show for six years, Marcus says that he knows Junior in and out, so the character comes naturally to him. So he's always excited to get roles in other projects that allow him to show the audience his range as an actor. For example, one of his other jobs was voicing the role of Bo in the animated series She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. Beyond acting, Marcus is also passionate about environmentalism. He's an ambassador for a project of the Environmental Defense Fund that is dedicated to empowering young people in advancing climate change and clean energy solutions. He also works with the National Foster Youth Institute to raise money and help to support foster youth. Marcus is very close to his family, which he says keeps him grounded as they make sure he always does the right thing. But his love life remains a mystery to the audience. Miles Brown as Jack The actors who play twins Jack and Diane are actually not related in real life. And although they were born in the same year, Brown is several months younger than his co-star Marseille Martin. Miles Brown is the son of rapper Wild Child, and he started hitting the stage when he was only four years old. The young boy is passionate about dancing, and prior to being cast on Blackish, he used his dancing talents on many shows, including The Ellen DeGeneres Show, America's Got Talent, and Dancing with the Stars, Juniors. But dancing is not his only passion. During the past several years, Miles has appeared in several short films. He played a child prodigy in the movie Boy Genius and dropped a hip-hop album, We the Future. And all this alongside filming more than 100 episodes of Blackish. Amazingly, Miles Brown doesn't find it hard being on the set of the long-running show. Every time I go on set, feels like I'm going to see my best friends or my family, to be honest, he shared. It never feels like my job. As you might remember, his character Jack got cut from the basketball team on the show. But Miles revealed that this probably wouldn't happen in real life, because it's actually his favorite sport and he is quite decent at it. We bet he is, as Brown also serves as the official junior NBA reporter and is the youngest member of the Junior NBA Leadership Council. Marseille Martin as Diane Surprisingly, Marseille's acting career started after a photographer gave her parents a discount, in exchange for her father's promise that he would submit the little girl's photos to talent agencies. Marseille's father kept his word, and at age five, she started appearing in TV commercials. Her family was very supportive in making her dreams come true and decided to move to Los Angeles. Martin was only 10 when her role of the precocious youngest daughter of Dre and Bo Johnson catapulted her to fame. It garnered her nominations for numerous awards, but it appears that acting wasn't her ultimate goal. 
After the first year of Blackish, when the show was on hiatus, Marseille fired her agents because they suggested she should just chill and take a break instead of looking for new opportunities. The agents also said that there weren't any roles for a young black girl out there. But the Martins persisted and suggested creating something themselves. They kind of just laughed at us. They didn't see the vision. But I think they didn't see it because they saw what I looked like. A little black girl that no one would want to see, revealed Marseille. So we fired them. And only four years later, she proved she truly has both vision and determination. At just 14, she became the youngest executive producer in Hollywood, and a successful one. Her film, titled Little, grossed $50 million at the box office on a $20 million budget. And this girl ain't gonna stop. In addition to continuing her role on Blackish, she's set to produce and star in the upcoming film adaptation of Amari and the Knight Brothers. So, who's your fave among the cast of Blackish? Share your opinion in the comments. And as always, stay super awesome!